um, some of the moral failings uh, of the church that you represent, especially as you try to take the moral high ground in, in, this, in this debate. Some Luckily, I don't need your approval to move forward. I, I want to know why this, for you, has become the burning issue of its day and how you can stand here with a straight face and say that this is, this is a priority for the church. When, when, and I can think of two obvious uh, cases where the church has failed on a global level. Uh, for one, I, I know in the very recent past, the Pope, our current Pope, was in Africa telling the people in that country who are suffering a holocaust of HIV and AIDS infection not to use condoms. I can think of another very significant and serious problem within the Catholic Church, which is the uh, proven widespread abuse of children within the care of the Catholic Church. I wonder where your outspokenness is on those issues. Ms. Branham's approaching the podium. Good morning, Mayor and uh, City Council. I'm here not to chastise you for your obvious lack of civility and decorum nor address your permissiveness in allowing certain council members to personalize their attacks on certain speakers at this podium. Mayor, you specifically stated at last week's City Council's meeting, June the 14th, that you would not allow personal attacks, yet you let it happen anyway. Mr. O'Rourke, you stated at last week's public hearings that you want to be remembered for decades for the decisions you made at City Council. You will be remembered, sir, for many things. Last week, you wrongfully and disrespectfully attacked Father Michael Rodriguez and the moral failings of the Catholic Church. You stated that Father Rodriguez was taking the moral high ground in this debate and I quote you as stating, I think there is fair folks, totally out of line. Thank you. Thank you. Your time is over. And you will, be, you'll, if you can't remove yourself from the podium, I'll have you removed. Yeah, but well, you can take your freedom of speech outside.